you're still watching ways now world thalassemia day is observed on this day to encourage those who struggle to live with the disease this day honors all patients suffering from thalassemia their parents who have who haven't lost hope for life and all the scientists who are working hard trying to provide improved quality of life for people living with thalassemia across the globe thalassemia is an inherited blood disorder which passes from patients to children um, its symptoms include drowsiness fatigue chest pain shortness of breath delayed growth headache joint days pale skin dizziness and faintness just to mention a few um, so to all those people suffering from this disease or going through this disease our hearts goes out to you um, today I didn't really know about I it. I didn't know about it as well. But wow. when we're doing the research and I saw this, and today is also World um, Red Cross Day as well. So I said, yeah. no, I think everybody knows what Red Cross yes. is about. Yes. Thalassemia is, it was strange to me. I was happy reading, reading up on it today. Yeah. You know, if you even look at the symptoms, it's quite similar to the COVID-19 um, that we're talking about. I mean, that yeah, is well, going actually, about global. Yeah. That so pretty, imagine if yeah. somebody has this disease and been treated like, or COVID or, or something. Not even that, like, you know, because these people definitely would need medical attention and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I, my, my mind truly feels so bad for people that have pre-existing health conditions because they would just mix everybody up. It's not up. a good time for it's, them. It's not a good time. Right. All right, darling, what did you find for us in the Okay, news? so um, on April, I think April 29th, uh, we woke up uh, on Instagram. The entertainment world was, you know, mourning the death of um, Love Divine, a popular professional dancer, which um, we all know as Kodak picture. I don't even know why I'm smiling, but it's it's a pretty sad news, you know. I never met her personally, but it's, it's really sad considering this... Um, the situation surrounding her death. So right after uh, she died, Clarence Peters was, she obviously died in Clarence Peters Studios. This is just backtracking for people who are not aware of what happened in the news. So um, now on May 2nd, um, Clarence and his boys were arrested for investigation and all that, but they uh, released them on bail, granted them bail, I think on, on Thursday, with the police saying that they are currently undergoing investigations, um, autops they're waiting for the autopsy results, and so it doesn't make sense keeping them in jail, which which makes sense. Now, here is what people are talking about. One of um, Clarence Peter's boys gave an account of what happened. Mm. Number one, Clarence wasn't even within the studio when this <clears throat> incident happened. Apparently, she was electrocuted with one of those big cable you see on set that, mm. you know, it's, it's, it has such high voltage, I can power, you know, red redheads and all those big lights you use on set. So they were not even there. And so um, Clarence wasn't in, 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 in the environment. And so when, what happened when she, when she was electrocuted, when they found her at first, she was still breathing. There was still a sign of life in yeah. her. So they went on to the first hospital. The gate was not even open. Now, moving on to the second hospital, luckily they had opened, but then the nurse kept telling them, this is according to what he said, what he nar uh, narrated, the, the nurse kept telling them, hold on, doctor is coming, hold on, doctor is coming. So when the doctor eventually got there, the lady, this uh, picture Kodak had eventually um, given up the ghost. So people are saying, why are you arresting Clarence Peters? He did nothing wrong. As far as humanity is concerned, they made all efforts to save her life. That the people who should be sued or who should be questioned is the hospital and the nurse in question. In fact, funny enough, I read the, the his... his um you know, he had been quiet for a while. Mm -hmm. So Benga Inka had posted his um, statement saying that, you know, I even read, or maybe I mixed, mixed it up, but I read that he went to the third hospital. It was the third hospital that pronounced her dead on arrival by the time okay. they got there, you understand? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, for me, I think the accidents happen. Right. You know, in as much as we want to say, okay, they, maybe they were not safety measures and all of that, which we understand because no, but you are not safety measures. No, I'm saying that you are an actor. You know that some people truly don't um, un understand those safety measures yeah, and, yes. and all of that. But there are some people that they are standardized, and we shouldn't now lump every everything. I'm happy that he has come out to say. I mean, his own side of the story. I just mm -hmm. pray that you know they'll be able to resolve it amicably. All right. So my story is quite quite um, an interesting one. Right. I have two, two angles I want to look at um, today. Quickly from, um, what's it called? Um, 
um, the, on Twitter, hashtag, okay. uh, what's it called? End, end I be resume, lo resume lockdown okay. had been trending, extend the lockdown had been trending. Okay. And I went on Twitter to check why, you know, um, it's quite strange because, you know, we had talked about resumption of workplace last week, last yeah. week and only for us to resume on Monday and everywhere was chaotic was the bank, and all of that. Goodness. So Lagos State recorded the highest number ever of the COVID-19 um, pandemic yesterday with 183 new cases in one day. Oh my you know, And goodness. so this is like the ease of lockdown. This is the week that they ease lockdown and this is the highest number recorded in one day. And now um, total number of uh, cases across Nigeria all shooting up. So the numbers are not flattening anytime soon. So um, people are calling that, you know, I think at this point, we already have seen what this will do before we get to the stage of Italy and all of that. Please let us, you know, probably uh, extend this lockdown and see how we can flatten the curve once and for all. Well, you see, the funny thing with... Sorry, did I cut you? Yeah, yeah go ahead. The funny thing with human beings is, I remember when this lockdown was still on, everybody was like, uh, 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 stop the lockdown and it doesn't help us and all of that. Human beings are so fickle. It, it's it's so annoying. I mean, but the good thing is, it's good that we've seen it for ourselves. Oh yeah, so. we would we might have to get to that point. Then second, um, the second focus I want to talk about quickly because uh, someone had posted in our group about the commissioner for health um, testing positive, uh, Professor Abayo, um, Aki Abayo, yeah. testing positive. I'm happy that Lagos State government. You know, I checked on their Twitter page. They've come out to say that you know the reports making round that suggesting that the commissioner tested positive is wrong, and I mean it's his. It's not true, and we should please um, stop this falsehood, whoever is making these reports. Because when I read it, I was actually heartbroken. Because for mm -hmm. me, I felt like, oh my goodness, I'm these so are the proud these are the him. fears. These are the fears that um, uh, what's called health uh, health workers are complaining about frontline workers because he is a frontline worker. He is always at the forefront of this fight. Yes. So I'm so happy when I saw this and I saw that it it was a f um, fake news. And um, please, whoever that is spreading all this fake news it doesn't help any situation we don't need this at this time like, like honestly come on. If, if if not for any reason i mean he's human and he's a health worker and beyond that he has been efficient and we want people like that to remain please. and do you know their so jobs for wherever with. that rumor came from i don't know where it is but please let us let us try to hold ourselves you know all these rumor yeah. mongers you and know maybe maybe it came from the the, the story about marina you know um mm -hmm. the state house at, i think 10 people tested positive at the state house mm -hmm. and you know i'm happy also they came out to say that the governor and his wife they, they've done their test that They're they so came back negative and all of okay. that i said maybe so maybe that was where this rumor came from but whatever mm -hmm. it is please we don't need this at this point and it's <laughs> important that we keep praying for our health workers and yeah. please the n95 mask you don't need it if you're it's not infected or you're not working on the front line you do not need, need n95 it. go for the, the, the regular double mask cotton or the linen or silk or whatever it is make sure you double the layers or triple it so when you blow air through it it doesn't come off mm. yeah so we'll we can we can we can leave the workers. surgical ones for yes the people at the front liners yeah all right so uh we'll take a quick break and our guests will join us right after the break to discuss finance stay with us